Hello and hey, today we're going to mess around with golf with your friends, this time the 2022 update for the Ancient Classic Guide. So, you've decided you want to play a course that's one half mini golf, one half lottery ticket. Perfect. I got you. Let's get to the holes. Hole number one, two and a half straightforward, as in parallel to the center line. It's pretty forgiving for the hole in one. Next hole, there is a distinct white line that runs down this central pillar. We want to aim directly at it. It's not pixel perfect or anything. Full power. Hole in one, eventually. Hole three is one of those where the first shot is different from every other, so the exact hole in one is hard, but aiming right of this corner at full power will get you a super small chance at it. And to accent mark how weird this hole is, you can hole in one left of this corner, though super inconsistent and not recommended. Just play this one normally as it's one of the absolute weirdest on the course for the current patch, but here's a hole in one ish. Hole four, some weird pinch of a hole in one might still be possible, but we won't be going for it. We will, however, line up the right side of our cursor with the corner of this light tile at full power, waiting until the log is over the course to release our shot. Then you will have to make slight adjustments, of course, depending on how exactly the shot turned out. But a good rule of thumb is to aim just right of the light tile two tiles up the hill. Again waiting for the log to be directly over the course. Sort of narrow band of shots. Best of luck. Hole number five, we're going swimming, but first let's line up this cursor. This shot is super specific for the hole in one, but you can get to the whole platform if you're off to the left or right just a little bit. So that's great. You'll know you got it if you fly in this direction. And if you did, we're gonna wait for the ball to make two bounces by itself before short hopping and then big hopping, AKA holding the button on the second jump. Next hole, we're going to aim right here at full power. It's not specific at all, so if you can pretty much match it, you'll still end up with an easy shot at a two. I'm still kind of sad they removed the little stone that made a simple hole in one possible. The course released without it, but after it was added, I don't understand taking it away again. Bit strange. Oh well, an easy two. Hole seven, this shot has survived all the physics changes and I don't know how, but we aim at the moss just left of this backwards G panel. It bounces 46 times right into the bowl, right into the hole. Hole eight, there's a million ways to get into the big bowl where the hole is, but the hole in one is a little specific. We wanna aim the left side of our cursor decidedly right of this crease between two wall pieces on the curve and take a fairly specific amount of power off the shot. It's something that is more of a feel than a relatable fraction, but it will go in or get close regardless, provided you've decidedly moved that little bit away from the crease. Final hole of the front nine, actually have a somewhat reliable two for you, exciting. Going to aim dead center of the panel on that far wall just left of the G. You're likely not to end up in the same exact place each time, but that's okay, provided you're around here, of course. For the second shot, we go just barely under three and a half, aiming the left side of our cursor pretty near to the light tile that is the one over and four forward if we don't count the ones we can't see because of the wall in the foreground. You have to release just before the wind gusts, allowing you to get lifted by two of them and ending up with an extremely solid chance of going into the bowl. It's easier than I made it sound, but obviously far from a guarantee. Hole 10 and the beginning of the random outcome part of the course. I like to shoot right about here and take just the smallest, tiniest bit off of full power. This either sends you off the course or goes straight into the hole. Let's find out which one we got. Beautiful. 
I'll go ahead and jump ahead to an almost identical shot that will go right in. Same concept, taking just less than full power right about here. And a hole in one. Nice. I know I just said that the last hole was the beginning of the random holes, but hole 11 isn't. We start by aiming one panel right of the F on the right wall. Not quite the center of that. Right here. Full power. Followed up by another full power shot where we place the left side of our cursor against that barely visible crease on these two wall pieces. With this, we'll skim just over these walls and get down for the very consistent two. Back to random, hole 12. I honestly just go anything above three power and aim towards the right side of this log chute, hoping for the best. The reason I don't have a setup is because of the high probability of getting an odd bounce. Of course, I get one of the least common of those right here. We'll fast forward to a successful attempt. If you don't want to deal with this nonsense, you can basically shoot straight forward three times. Just always want to show the best possible outcome, which is technically the hole in one. Hole 13 is another hole that I don't know if it's possible to get a hole in one on the first shot without doing something pretty different than what works on the other shots, just like hole three. However, you will always get super close to the hole if you aim full power, just barely left of center. Even here, I got an uncommon bounce, so we'll go ahead and show you a second one. This shot is not different than 20 others as far as where I was aiming goes, but this one went in. Legitimately cannot wait for another physics update to make this one deterministic again. Speaking of deterministic, hole 14 is very easy. Turn around and aim directly at or just left of the crease in the wall at full power. It's extremely straightforward, no unexpected bounces. A clean hole in one. Hole 15 is probably the most skillful hole on the course. It's a two that has a non-specific first shot. So you'll have to make minor adjustments each time. Shot one, we aim between these two lines on this corner piece with roughly two and two thirds power-ish. Letting go just as the left platform is about to lower. From here, a full power shot should stay in the little hole area with a high chance of going in, generally aiming about halfway up the little light tile on the hill. Play with it a little bit, you'll get it. Hole 16, we were hoping to hit just right of a far crease on the curved wall all the way down there. An easier guide to this is to aim at the leftmost decoration on the light tile, one, two, three, four, five, six ahead of us, making sure to be a touch right of center on that decorative line. The dust kick up effect can make this hard to see, so use your best judgment. From here, we will aim between the Y and F panels on the wall. I've never had full power roll through the bowl, but if you prefer a little bit more comfort, you can take the tiniest bit off this shot for an easy two. The ultimate random hole in golf with your friends, hole 17. For a relatively safe way down, we'll aim four tiles forward, two to the left at full power. It probably isn't going in. I'll cut a bit of the journey out. But you'll get really close. If you want a pixel specific shot, here's the fast way to get down there. It'll never go in, but you won't have to wait a week and a half for your two. And again, I'll show a successful attempt where I do seemingly nothing different than normal. Here you go. And lastly, hole 18, another hole with wildly different results depending on which pixel you try. I've got a consistent and simple three, but just because it's simple does not mean it's easy. 
All right, we spin around to look at the back wall and aim immediately right of this dark line panel decoration. If you're unsure if you're too far right, go a single pixel left and vice versa, because they are the only two pixels that are keeping you on the course. I'll try my best to explain both outcomes for shot two. From this location, we aim directly at the dark tile corner, full power. Again, another super narrow area. And if you end up from the other spot, from the other pixel that works, you aim the left side of your cursor on the dark tile corner, but not this exact one. It'll be the one that is closer to us and right by one. I wish I had to be a little less specific, but like I noted, each shot ends up wildly different. Try to play as safe as you can if you're going for the par achievement. I can't really give you a better tip than just play safely. But to finish this one out, then obviously with us threading our way up here, it's a simple finish of just under one power. While if you got the other pixel, you might still be back on the ramp and need to go just under three power, just outside the hole. Again, sorry I couldn't give you an easier series of shots. And that's the course. I don't hate it, as there are a lot of interesting and good holes. The physics updates haven't been the kindest. Turned a lot of fun holes with shoots into throwing darts blindfolded at a smaller board. But it is what it is, until the next update anyway. Didn't mean for this to have a negative tone, but just don't like just how many seemingly random holes are on this one single course. We'll leave it there. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Be safe, guys.